Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. And today I want to talk about servo mechanisms, or servos as they're more commonly called. The servos are one of my favorite components of physical computing. They can be programmed and just left to run on their own, basically sweeping back and forth. They can be controlled manually, and they can be triggered by virtually any input. And the output is precision positioning. They're used for steering RC cars and planes. They're great if you need repeatable precision movement. And they're perfect because of the lightweight, small size, and high torque for things like animatronics, particularly faces and eyes. Today, I want to talk about some servos, just the basics basically, show you a couple of projects, and hopefully inspire you to figure out ways that you can put servos into your next project. Servo motors generally come in three sizes. There's micro, there's standard, and there's jumbo or giant. Now, all are controlled the same way with three wires. There's power, usually five volts for a hobby servo, ground, and control. And control is done via PWM, or pulse width modulation. The servo expects to see a pulse every 20 milliseconds, and the width of that pulse determines the position. If you were to take a servo apart, and if you have one that dies, I highly recommend that you do, you would find a small DC motor with a bunch of gears, a control IC, and a potentiometer for positioning feedback. There are also two stops that limit the position to 180 degrees. Now one thing we haven't talked about yet is a continuous rotation servo. In that, those two stops have been removed, allowing it to, as the name would imply, rotate continuously. Now the trade-off is that you don't get positioning feedback. You can control speed and direction, but not position. Now, let's take a look at one. So as you can see, I'm controlling direction and speed on this continuous rotation servo, but like I said, the trade-off is position. I have no idea what the positioning is, which for some things might not be terrible. If you want a camera that sweeps the room, you could certainly use something like this attached to a pulley with a slip ring. The continuous rotation servo is controlled just like a regular servo with servo.write. However, with a normal servo, you would send it a number between 0 and 180, and that would determine its position. Whereas with the continuous rotation, the number sent is its speed, 90 being no speed at all. And then the further you get, either down or up from 90, determines how fast you go. Further away, faster speed. Servos, like I said, can also be controlled manually. And they're great for robotic arms like this one. Now, something like this could be programmed to reach down, grab something, <laughs> come back up, move it over here, and drop it in a container. Now, as we all know, you shouldn't be touching your face with your hands, especially during cold and flu season. The problem is cold and flu season is also the dry season, and your face gets so itchy. What to do? Well, as I said, servos are great for robotics and can be triggered by virtually any input. In this instance, I'm using the SparkFun Quick Proximity Sensor to trigger it to scratch my face without actually touching my face. Ah, that's the stuff. So that's just a tiny sampling of servos. If you want more information, check out our Basic Servo Control for Beginners guide or our Servos Explained page. Then start figuring out where you can add precision movement into your next project. Happy hacking, friends. Ah, oh, mm, ah. Uh. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Okay, let's try it. Oh, we're good? <laughs> Dope. And the output is repeatable precision positioning. I should have a big mug of something and just do it like this. Like over your face. Right, and that way we can just. And the output is high precision positioning. <laughs> I'm like, yay, I said it. Said oh, it. I gotta keep talking. Why do I write these things? I'm so excited about what I'm about to say, I'm forgetting what I'm gonna say. And we've got jumbo. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it was too jumbo. Now would be a good time for a close up. <laughs>